So today we're going to do another fun project. Um, what we've got here is a house plan with quite a simple little landscape. And we are going to draw this in on this two point photo overlay perspective. Um, so I'm just going to put this aside for now. No, I'm not. I'm going to see if we can figure out a good grid to work with. Um, because we need to know how far these things will come out. So we can't just guess really. We can, but we're not gonna. We're gonna do it a little bit better than guessing. So, um, so we have to draw a bit of a grid on top of this um, design. So we can see here that this, this here is a nice square. And if you measure this, um, this window is 1.8 by 1.8. And we can use that to start our grid. So I'm just going to put some lines here, just so you see what I'm trying to do. So on this picture that would be here. And here. Now you can also see a nice um, grid appear appearing here. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do another another one in the middle here. So this isn't exactly 1.8, but it's close enough. So I'm going to just put one in the middle there. And there. Okay, so now we've got got something going on here that will work. I'm just going to continue this. So it's about 1.8, Okay, and I guess there. Now we draw a grid like this so that we can more accurately do a perspective. You don't always have to do it. Sometimes it's very easy to just use the lines of the house, continue the lines of, lines of the house to see um, to see where things are in your drawing. Okay, I think we've got enough now. So yeah, it's a nice grid here. So now moving on, put this aside. Moving on to this one, first thing we actually need to do is um, figure out where the horizon line is and the two vanishing points. Um, it's quite a good drawing. It's quite a good picture for that. Um, we'll get this one first. We'll use this roof line here. Take it down. And That one wasn't long enough. Get another one. Okay, so that's here. Often you'll have to draw dots on your table. So when you do two point perspectives, very often it doesn't fit. Um, okay, so the other one is here somewhere. That one's easy. There you go. Now I need a big ruler to draw the horizon line. And as you know, all our vertical lines need to be on a 90 degree angle with this line. So it's good to have this line on the paper. Okay, so vanishing point, vanishing point. Um, okay. All right, so now, that I have just discovered there's a nice grid here to use. I need to put this grid onto here before I do any more any more steps. Um, another thing you can see here is that this 
This is here is a nice square. This here is also a nice square. So I can continue this line, this line here on the ground. Try to be quite exact with it. Yeah. And then now I have got a nice square here, and I can use this square. So the corner, the square, and over here. Oh yes, and I still have to draw the middle, a line in the middle here. Um, so this line, and I'll help you with that, because we're cheating a little bit, there's not actually a line right in the middle. But if you look at this window, it goes about there. So go kind of through the left bit of the mirror, of the window. And then go back to the vanishing point. And we have this line. Okay, now when you have that line, you can discover where the other ones go. So again, going back to this square here, you go from this corner to that corner, you draw a line through there. And then we discover where this point will be. Right. We also know this one. And then we know this next one. So now this one here. Yeah, it's quite a good grid. Um, for the next one, we're gonna take go. Oh, this isn't very correct. So I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not look at this point. So things do get a little bit distorted. But we're just gonna take it like that and. Go through there. Um, let's see if this one will work out. Yeah, that one works a bit better. So it doesn't really doesn't have to be exact. You see here that this this square is going to be very very big, which I'm not that happy with. But we'll see how it goes. Let's see how it works. Oh, you know, that still looks pretty good. I thought it wasn't going to look like a square, more like a rectangle, but it looks quite good still. Um, okay, let's see if we can do one more. Probably not. It won't fit on the page. Or we can kind of just guess. I think it should be about there. Looking at the length of this one, maybe about right here. There you go. Uh, oh, and we can do the front here as well, still. intersect. Okay, so now we have um, a base plan to work with and it is one, two, three, four, five. It's big enough. It's exactly big enough to cover this picture here. Um, might Oh, no, no, yeah, we've got it. We've got it all covered. All right, so um, we can move on to the next step, and I'll make a new video about that.